Hello, ready to ride? All right then. How many people will be playing? Three. Thank you. Three. Is this the first time on the... Fantastic. Newcomers are always welcome. Yes, they are. And I'm sure you'll welcome the extra instructions we intend to give you during the game. Player one, may I have your name, please? Gosh, sounds like someone sprang a leak. Player two, you are next. Good, thank you. Player three, may I have you? Oh, that's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. You have the same name as one of the 90210 kids. Player one, your buzzer is the letter Q. Q as in quiz kids. Player two, you will buzz in by pressing down on the letter B. B as in bow, wow, wow. And last but not least, player three, you will be using the letter P as in phallic. Enjoy the ride. See you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack, The Ride is sponsored by the American Produce Corporation, family owned and operated until 1982, then bought out by a multi-billion dollar corporation and currently operated by a single large supercomputer. And now, say hello to your host, Guy Towers! Alright, welcome to the game! And hey, contrary to what you might have heard, there may, may, be an occasional lame joke ahead. Alrighty, first off, we gotta give you your screws. Alright, you choose, gonna get some screws, and here you go. All right, now pay attention and I'll tell you about a new and improved way to screw your neighbor. When you see a question you don't want to answer, buzz in immediately and start hitting the S key. That's S for screws. Now every time you do, you're going to be firing screws into the screen, totally annihilating the question. When you're done blasting, then you force your friend to answer it. That's called screwing flakjack style. So uh, if you're not the one dishing out the screws, you better be reading as fast as you can. All right, I hope you got all that. Okay, my country bumpkins, get ready to ride. And hey, just ask us to slow it down if it moves too fast for you, okay? Buzz in, player three, and let's see how much cash is riding on this one. The category is... Down on the animal farm. Okay, 3,700 and some change, if you can tell me this. If there were a version of George Orwell's Animal Farm featuring cartoon characters, who would play the animal? Player one. <laughs> All right, player. Don't we'll take that, player three. What's the choice two, huh? Okay, let's see. Daffy Duck. Pfft, not only are you despicable, you're plucked. <laughs> player two, grab it. This hurts you a lot more than it hurts me. Hey, hit it, player one. In Orwell's Animal Farm, the animals take over the farm, and the pigs rise to take control of the animals. Move over, Bacon! Now there's something communist! Player one, hit your buzzer and see how much cash you can make. And your category is... Primitive farm living is the life for me. Here's the question. What could have been the earliest factually accurate setting for the wacky farming comedy Green Acres? During the Paleolithic period, the Mesolithic period, the Neolithic Player one! The first evidence of farming showed up during the Neolithic period, the last period of the Stone Age. Mr. Douglas, I have something here that will revolutionize your farm. I call it the wheel. And I have something for you, Mr. Haney. It's called the loincloth. Wear it, please. All right, buzz in, player one, and let's see how much cash is up for grabs. Get ready for... The Bee Gees enjoy rural life. Questions coming. If you were to take it, player two... Yeah, I thought so. Well, maybe if you wait next time, I'll even put in the real choice. Player one. B 
BGH, or bovine growth hormone, is a genetically engineered hormone that's given to cows to increase milk production. And you thought his voice was high before. Wait till he's got the tender udder. Layer one, hit that buzzer and let's check out the cash for this one. And the category is... I'm not littering, I'm composting. Coming at you. If you use your compost to make compost, what will you do? Build walls out of rock. There too. Alright, player two, who are you gonna screw? Player three, it's revenge time! Okay, you went for the first choice? Do your parents deserve this shame? <laughs> player, player two, grab it! No, that would be a meat compress. And believe me, it's not as fun as it sounds. <laughs> All yours, player one! No reason why your plants should get first dibs on the compost. Spread them on your flapjacks, too. Yeah, city folk don't know what they're missing. Player one, give me some buzzer. Let's check out that cash. Ooh, it's a little roadkill. All right, let me tell you how this game works here. You're going to get different pairs of things that are somehow related, and you're going to see a series of items that may or may not connect the pair. It's your buzzer when you see the item that correctly links the two. I'm giving out a thousand bucks if you get it right, but choose wisely. You lose a thousand dollars every time you're wrong. At the end, there's going to be a bonus question worth bonus cash. Let's just say you should pay close attention to all the correct answers. Got it? Good. We're off. Opposite of white and opposite of the red. What links these two together? <laughs> Time. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all slang for manure? Brands of ice cream? Characters in the Waltons? Governors in the Heartland? Fast food chicken joints? Country music? Nice driving player one. the current standings, and player one's in the lead, okay? Player one, buzz in. How much cash are we gonna make on this one? This one will be... Fear of Farming. Hey, you know something? I don't think our exploration of country music was complete, because we left out the works of Blue Oyster Cult. If the Blue Oyster Cult song Don't Fear the Reaper had actually been about farm equipment instead of death, what would the song's profound... Player one! A reaper is a machine that harvests grain. But the song has like way huge significance, man, because like the grain is my soul. All right, buzz in, player one, and let's see how much cash is up for grabs. Wow, big bucks on this one. All right, this one's called... 
pretty fleas with sugar on top? Ready? Okay, think back to that Hawaiian language course you took in high school and tell me this. What might you expect to buy at a Hawaiian flea market? Cheap moo-moos, second-hand ukuleles, tell your player one. In Hawaiian, yuku means flea and lele means jumping. But to the rest of the world, ukulele means shut up before I fucking your Don Ho. Okay, player one, hit your buzzer and let's see what's in the kitty. There was a farmer made of corn and corny was his name. O C O R N Y C O R N Y C O R N Y, but his mama called him Mazo. Welcome to Corny. All right, here's a quick explanation of how this thing works. You're gonna get a series of puzzles. When you figure out each answer, wait for the first letter of that answer to get highlighted. Then, buzz in. If you're right, I'll give you 500 bucks, and you collect that letter. But I'm taking away 500 every time you're wrong. Be the first one to collect all the letters, and you get the bonus. Got it? Well, I hope so, because here we go. Home, home on the what? Strange. Marie Osmond is a little bit what? Country. Swiss Miss might sing this way. Fences make good blank. Hi, neighbor. Hazard County's blank B. Coltrane. Come on in. The door's blank. Open wide. Come on, player one. One more letter and the cash is yours. Country speak, meaning all of you. One, you got the bonus. Player one, head of the pack. All right, uh, let's keep going. Player two, hit your buzzer and let's see what's in the kitty. Uh, hello, I said player two. Wow, big bucks. Nice. Well, the category is three strikes and you're out. Okay, you know how a lot of pro baseball players are brought up to the majors through the minor league farm system? Well, say, gotta buzz in first. Hey, genius, buzz in! Hey, I said buzz in, moron! Hit it, player one! No, they're in the grass league, and their team song is Blue Oyster Cult's Don't Fear the Reaper. <laughs> player, player three, go! Hello? <laughs> player, player two! Nope, sorghum is in the grass family. And sorghums are quite common in Scottsdale. Poo. The alfalfas. So what, would their mascot be like a giant cowlick? You see, alfalfa's not a grass. It would actually play in the legume league. Smack your buzzer, player two, and let's find out the cash value of this. This baby's gonna be... Cow do I love thee. Hey, uh, you know how they say a way to a man's heart is through his stomach? Well, how many stomach chambers would a cow have? Player three, do <laughs> Got to answer a big answer, too. Let's see how you did. All cattle have four stomach chambers. Of course, you'd also have to be chewed, swallowed, regurgitated, and chewed up again a few times along the way. But hey, isn't that what love's all about? Hey, nice work, player three. You just screwed yourself. <laughs> player one, hit that buzzer and let's check out the cash for this one. Sweet choice, player one. Player two and three, go get me a beer, because player one's going solo with a dis or dat. This dis or dat's category name is... This here's God's Country. Okay, I'm going to read off seven names. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's... A god or a country? If each one comes up, if it's a god, press 1. If it's a country, press 2. And if you're not sure, press 4. 
cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. So when the wire fills up, uh, you're out of time. And we're up. Burundi to the guy of the country. Yemen. Holly. Holly. Six out of seven. Good enough for me. All right, there's the current standings. And the player one's in the lead. Okay. Okay, player three, hit your buzzer and show us how much cash is up for grabs. This one's called... Where the Cheese Stands Alone. <clears throat> the farmer in the dell. The farmer in the dell. Hi ho the Dario! What the hell? Oh, you're player one! Adele is a small valley. So like when the farmer takes a wife, she's like a total valley girl. Oh my god. Player one, hit your buzzer and see how much cash you can make. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. And each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Who bought the farm? And remember, your matches have to follow that clue. Have fun. What is your deal, Player 3? Did you chew your fingers off or what? This is for my Baptist minister, who instilled in me at a very young age the evils of alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. This is for the kids at school, who by refusing my friendship, Force me to adapt and infiltrate any and all social cliques. This is for my older brother, whose bad taste in music gave me a CD collection large enough to drive any person under siege insane. I'm proud to be an officer for the ATF. We raid more homes and violate more constitutional rights by 9 a.m. than most criminals do in a day. The ATF, keeping our country free for you and me. A wise man once said, give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. Well, I say, give that man 161.5 million fish, feed him for a lifetime, and he'll never have to fish again. Put all your money into the daily lottery. It's the only hope you have. 
must have seen mortgage 50 times already, and I'm back for more. I've never personally dealt with the pain of a foreclosure, but up there on stage with the singing and the dancing, mortgage makes it seem so real. I thought my kids' problems with ADD were something I had to hide, but it was so empowering to see that soccer mom fight. My child.